the colors. Um, okay, so in today's space theme video, forgot to mention the colors. So the colors <laughs> that we're working with are metallic orange. Yeah. Metallic blue. Yeah, we don't have purple. <laughs> metallic white and just regular black. Now I want to double stuff um, some of the white into the black to make like a kind of a shimmery gray or like a silver. So um, I'm gonna try that. If that doesn't work, we're just gonna stick with, um, we're just gonna stick with the four main colors, but um, if I can get some gray in there. And I also don't know, I forgot what sizes I have, so. But all that information will be um, down below all the sizes, how many I use, what colors I use of each size. So um, that's pretty much it. And <laughs> she just loves balloons. Um, also, what's happening in two months? I'm gonna be five. She's gonna be five, so we are definitely gonna have a big video slash party setup crazy thing in March um, because we're gearing up for her fifth birthday, which is going to be an LOL birthday. Show me shirt. LOL. Ah. So that's coming up too. But um, yeah, let's get into the video. Smack it. Bam. No. <laughs> takeaways from this garland uh, when you are double stuffing um, I first of all double stuffing is a lot there's a reason why people charge extra because double stuffing balloons and trying to tie the necks together is horrible on your fingers so um, the tension is so incredibly strong that um, I actually had to take breaks because my hands were hurting but um when you are double stuffing balloons, which I think that color came out super awesome. That's like a like a space gray almost. Um, you can instead of you can tie the two together, like tie the your first two necks together, and then if you are gonna continue to tie the necks, um, use the internal neck. So the black is on the inside, so I'm gonna use this black neck to tie to this black neck. And that'll help with a lot of the tension. Um, you can still feel it, but it's not as harsh on your fingers. Um, and then you can just go ahead and connect that to your garland. Um, takeaway number two is uh, when you are working with a stand like this, um, I'm using I still have my box foot up from my other video, but um, I'm not really using that. Um, but I'm using a ring or like a round um, stand, eight foot stand. When you are using a stand like that, um, pretty much the balloons can wrap around like your quads and your um, your uh, color blocks can wrap around the um, metal of the stand. But if you are outside, I would suggest using um, 260s or some type of fishing line to secure your balloons to your stand because the last thing you want is a gust of wind and everything blows away. And I guess tip number ugh, four, no, three. <laughs> uh, tip number three would be um, 
just be mindful when you are ordering balloon colors um that you know you want all the sizes and all the colors so um i wanted to have uh gray the metallic gray or metallic silver and um in various sizes but um it wasn't available in the sizes that i wanted so um that's why i ended up double stuffing the balloons which really hurt my hands um and then i wasn't able to get the smaller size of the white and the black so i still was without the five inch but i really think i mean overall like the color scheme um i'm happy with it so um i'm not too upset about that it's just just understand that um when you are working with balloons um the various sizes you have the better um so you know always at least use at the least use two sizes but if you are um trying to add more sizes i would start with larger sizes that way you use less balloons and then um and then work down from there so just a tip um thank you guys for tuning in and i will catch you next time